Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an April plan with me month and this month's theme is dedicated to Game of Thrones because it is coming out very very soon and I'm super excited. I'm just showing you guys what I've sketched because it did take a while to plan out and sketch everything but I did show a little bit of tips on how I broke down some drawings. This one I broke down into like four to five parts and they were inspired from Pinterest images and just combining a lot of them together. For the April spread, I just basically made an arrow shaped and filled it up with swords because it is the Iron Throne, inking it with a 02 sakura micron pen and i did attempt to make different angles with my phone as well as my camera so if it's a little blurry it's probably my phone and now i'm just marking it up with my crayola super tips for the shadows and just creating more depth on the iron throne And then I went ahead and colored in with the light gray shade literally everywhere. But I did leave some white spots because I will be coloring it with another shade of gray which is the darker shade with a hint of cool tones. And I'm just coloring the, the ones that I didn't color yet. And then last but not least, I grabbed my micron again and added some hatching throughout the drawing. Just had some fun with like a jelly pen to add some highlights to the swords that were shiny, but everything is super optional. And then to the left side of the quote, I did want to well, make it different, but I really love the Pinterest image that I saw, so why not just recreate it? It was very easy to recreate with the Black Crayola Super Tips marker because it just does calligraphy so well. Well, not calligraphy, but writing attempt very fun to create if you guys want to see all of my pinterest inspo i'll link it down below in the description box and then i added a cute little chess piece game or chess pieces on the top as well as a little pawn on the bottom and then I just kind of fast forward to coloring them and then last but not least for the front I am just using my Tombow um, brush pen to create the April typeface and then that's it for the first spread on to the next one, it is going to be the monthly spread. I tried to recreate the whole Game of Thrones world. Um, I did trace over one from Pinterest and then I somehow like managed to create the whole thing and fit almost actually all of the days of April. Um, right now I'm just like doodling the details as well as shadows which will probably give you a hand cramp sooner or later. I know I did because there was so many lines but good thing I fast forward or else this video would be like an hour long and then I added some details with the mountains and 
some ships and then I added another scrolly for the April and then added a cute little compass on the corner and then I went ahead and grabbed my yellow ochre or golden shade and as well as colored the ship and just went ahead and used a very light Manami pen and made these little scrolls for the for the days um, I tried to attempt to have the top scroll After that, I just went ahead and outlined the whole map with the golden super tips marker, then went ahead and dotted the dates for each day with a very light gray marker. After that, I wrote the dates with my Tombow brush marker. And then I wanted to change the growth tracker into something else, so maybe goals. So that will be to be determined. And then I just went ahead and colored that. And then went ahead and erased everything and this page is finally done. Moving on to the next page is the mood and habit tracker. So the left side will be Jon Snow and I got inspiration from this picture. I will also link my Pinterest down below. But I did sketch this out before so just try your best in creating a little portrait but I made it so it looks just like him for season 8 and then I just inked up the crows they don't really have to be as perfect I did many different sizes and on the left side I did black as the happiest because it make more sense if the crows were more pitch black and then I went ahead and just colored in Jon Snow's uh, cloak and hair with black and shaded it with a gray line marker and then wrote the mood tracker with the Tombow and then onto the other side I did different shades of blue that would relate to the the wall the ice king and etc and then on the bottom, I got this inspiration from another Pinterest image and I just kind of experimented with the different colors of the color markers, having a light gray as the base and then having this muted blue as the second layer. And then I can easily make these trees by uh, zhuzhing out like a line and then some branches in the background so it's super easy to make trees that way and then after that i just went ahead and filled out the whole bottom page just making sure that it's not bleeding through the second page because i am applying a lot of layers so i just put on another layer of dark gray and then now i'm just coloring in the white walker then after a few paid after a few layers i inked up the skulls of the habit trackers and now i'm just coloring in extra crows just so it flows with the previous page and now i'm just inking up the habits that I want to track and then lastly putting up the habit tracker calligraphy on top
and then just erasing every line work except Jon Snow's face because I do want to keep it sketchy. Moving on to the next page is my theories page slash expense tracker. So for the theories page, I was envisioning the weirwood tree and having these books on the um, to the right side and crossing them off once Game of Thrones is actually out. I just colored in the red leaves and then made um, these cute little books on the left side. And moving on to the expense tracker since Lannister Lannisters always pay their debts, I made fun of just making it like related to the expense tracker. So I put their sigil, I put more scrolly like notepads and then within their um, color theme, put drop shadows and everything. Um, it is a little bit, so I hope to not spend a lot. And then I'm just gonna erase all of the sketch marks. And my handy dandy brush. So moving on to the last page, which is my first weekly spread. I drew Arya and um, a little dire wolf mask because she is a faceless man now or faceless person. And then I just went ahead and colored in the Stark sigil on the left side and made this more of a calendar because the previous one wasn't a month. So this one I just wrote out the days on the flag sigil and then I got this inspiration from another Pinterest photo winter is coming and then on the right side I put the North remembers within the Game of Thrones calligraphy or typeface and then on the bottom is just very simple dire wolf or wolf silhouettes and some of them don't super look like wolves but um, as long as they look somewhat like a wolf silhouette and I just like how it really pulls in the whole spread together Last but not least, I'm changing the left side to have four boxes instead of three because I did want to include a weekly events on the left side. And then using my number three soccer marker, inking that up and then using my white jelly pen in order to create the days. And then last but not least, I'm just going to be putting some shadows on Arya and her mask. And that's everything for this spread. So now here is just a quick flip through of my Game of Thrones April theme. And here is a quick little preview of next week's spread. So definitely subscribe to my channel to find out how I illustrate that for next week. Thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment down below, and see you next video. Bye!